<laughs> okay, I'm I'm filming now, so right. she's going to read. I'm going to tell you about Corpus Christi right. when he gets through. Okay, okay. Dear Cabot, about a year ago, I promised your mother that I would write this letter to you. So here it is. You probably don't remember me, but I met you, sort of, before you were born. It was shortly after my brain tumor removal surgery on February 11th, 2015 at Scott and White Hospital in Temple, Texas. Your mother was one of the wonderful ICU nurses who took care of me those first critical days after my surgery. When she came into my room, we visited for a while, and then I noticed she was pregnant. She told me about you and that you were a girl and that you were going to be born in May and that your name was going to be Cavett. I asked her if it was going to be May 22nd, and with a surprised look on her face, she said, how did you know? I told her that my birthday was May, my, that May 22nd was my birthday. Of course, I now know that you were born on May 15th by C-section. To my way of thinking, you are actually a week older than you are supposed to be. <laughs> so if you, if you have felt older and wiser than other people, you now know why. <laughs> it's because you are. <laughs> now, back to that day I first met you. Your mom and I talked a little more. Then I asked her if I could pray for you and her. She said, yes. I put my right hand on her shoulder as she sat beside my bed. I put my left hand on you. Surely you remember that, Kevin. <laughs> you were right there, huh? This is what I prayed. Yeah. Dear God, I come to you today asking... Asking a special blessing on Amanda and on Kavik. Watch over them and protect them. Keep them in good health and bless them all their lives. God, Amanda, as she raises her sweet little girl to be a wonderful, faithful Christian woman who truly blesses the world. These things I pray in Christ's holy name. Amen. Oh, that's so beautiful. One of her fellow nurses came in later that day and said that your mom came out of the room feeling so much more peaceful than she had been feeling before coming in. Of course, this thrilled me to death. Later that afternoon, I was moved up to a private room on the fifth floor, room 567, I think. Either that night or the next morning, a male nurse came into my room. He said, I think you might be the one who prayed for my wife earlier. I said, is her name Amanda? He said, yes. So I responded, that was me. And then I told him, that I was so glad that he had come in because after your mom had left, I realized that there was one other person I wanted to pray for with her. And that was some young man out there that God would be preparing to, to be your husband. So I asked your dad if I could pray for his future son-in-law. He said, yes. And so we prayed. I said, dear God, I've come back to you because I want to ask you to be out there picking out an awesome young man who will be the perfect mate for Kavik a few years down the road. Help him be a fine and awesome young man, a fine, honest, loving man of faith and integrity. Teach him to love, respect, and honor sweet Kavik and to be a godly husband to her. Give them both great joy in their marriage and help them be wonderful Christian couples for all of their lives. Help them be excellent parents who will raise wonderful Christian children. These things I pray in Christ's holy name. Amen. Kavik, my hope, my dream, is that you are reading this letter out loud to your friends and family right now on your wedding day. And that you can, you can now beyond a know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this day was meant to be. That someone has been praying for you and for this day since before you were born. I can assure you that I'm sorry. I can assure you that my prayers for you have continued through the years and that this day is an answer to those prayers. May God bless you both for many generations to come. In Christ's holy name I pray. Amen. Sincerely yours with all my love, Dennis Enzer. That is beautiful. Extremely beautiful. Can you tell him thank you? That needs you? to be put in a special place. Yeah. Oh, it will.